I've been test driving the 2010 Acura TL, which is a manual this time around. Acura introduced the manual shift so you could actually have a little more driving experience and a little more fun. Now this vehicle is actually outstanding. I don't think I'd like it as much as I do. The reason it's so much fun driving a manual is the fact that it's so light in its body structure, which means the car whips around the track and is very balanced from front to back. Now also with this vehicle comes that super handling all-wheel drive, which means all of those wheels get the power they need to slip or grip depending on what the road surface is and what kind of weather it's like. The other thing about Acura that they do in their compositions that I really like is they have the ace body structure, which means everybody inside this cab is protected, and if there's an accident, all the force on the exterior of the vehicle goes into the exterior. It doesn't come into the cab. It gets deflected away from where the lives and the occupants are. This engine is a 3.7 liter engine. There is that super handling all-wheel drive system that outputs 280 horsepower. And your two choices of transmission, you can go with that five-speed automatic, but this particular one has the six-speed manual, which makes the driving and the power hit the road perfectly. And you can move this car in any direction at great speeds. The Acura TL was designed in Southern California for those Americans who like Japanese cars, but were never quite sold on the design. So designed by an American team, this vehicle is actually form and function. The front grille is Acura's very standard grille that you'll see in all their vehicles. The big difference this time around is it actually has the chrome finish on it where it used to have that gunmetal gray finish, which wasn't quite as poppy and had got some bad comments. Everything around the front is great, the HID headlights. Also, some of those air ducts in the bumpers actually have a function. What they do is channel air to the brakes to keep the brake cooling system going. The big note on the inside is the sound system. In fact, uh, Edmund Edmunds.com noted, noted this was one of the best sound systems around. It has 10 speakers, 410 watts, and sounds great when you're driving in this car and you crank the tunes all the way up. But the other electronics on the inside are also Acura standards. They have that Acura traffic weather link on the inside, which means that you can get your weather up to three days in advance. You can get all the traffic information, which tells you whether the road ahead is blocked, and you can also get that great navigation system. It also has everything laid out, lots of buttons on the steering wheel, so you can control most things from the steering wheel rather than reaching over to the dash. And then it's a very light steering car. Once you get it into gear, the manual, this particular manual, is easy to shift. It has a very narrow ratio in those gears. The pedals are very short as well, and the comfort of the drive means that you can actually get the performance out of the car and not worrying how you're sitting or where your gauges are. They're all exactly in the right place.